Hey guesses, how are you guesses doing? Thank you so much for joining me on another video. Uh, we have a lot of new subscribers on the channel, so I thought that we would do a get to know me a little bit better. But I thought that instead of doing like a get to know me tag, which is quite long, um, we would do a five things you probably don't know about me or yeah five things you probably don't know about me and then also maybe you can also put in in the comment section below something that a lot of people don't necessarily know about you it doesn't have to be like a major secret it just can be like you know just like a general thing that most people really aren't aware about you so yeah i'm quite excited actually uh, let me know if you also thought i was any of these things what was surprising what wasn't surprising to you and yeah um it's good to be filming again and thank you so much to all my new subscribers for joining the hey gapster family and to my golden oldies as always i love you and thank you so much for sticking with me we have been down this road for a while it's actually been five years since i had my youtube channel i think i started in, started in 2015 2016 so yeah it's been a while so yeah some of you guys have been with me since the first year and i'm very appreciative of that and let us start yes lockdown crazy is here okay i have notes because i forget these things so um the first thing is that i didn't breastfeed so i'm starting it from way back <laughs> I didn't breastfeed not only did I not breastfeed I didn't breastfeed I didn't drink any milk as a child not okay I did drink some droplets but I didn't drink any milk as a child from like my second day of being on this earth in this world in this I didn't drink any milk so what my mom says so I was born like during the day my mom she took me home same day that I was born I was actually probably the and let me add an extra one i was born at the doctor's office i wasn't born in a hospital so i was born at our family gp pediatrician's office he was like the family doctor so i was born there once i was born and all the things had been checked out my mom went back home dropped me off went to work i was number four so you know so anyway uh, apparently when i got home you know my family took my sister took care of me and everything but that night my mother says that during the night i was crying and i was refusing the breast and she was like she doesn't know so first thing in the morning she took me back to the doctor that birthed me and our family doctor and they basically like i was crying apparently and they went and they bought every single milk tub that you could buy because first they thought maybe it was the breast milk then they tried to bottle feed me so my mom was like i went to put lactogen nan whatever milk was present at the time my mother bought and apparently i rejected all of them so the doctor told my mom to go buy those purity juices and apparently i drank those so from basically in the first 24 hours of my life I was drinking purity juices so no breast milk no formula milk no nothing for the first I don't, she can't remember when I started drinking milk again so but I, I think probably for the first year of my life I didn't drink any milk and it also explains my current milk situation I think to me I'm not I'm not I don't know what it is but I have a milk situation currently so I kind of Say, explain it from that second point well third point second point is that I come from a polygamous family yep you 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 I am a product of polygamy <laughs> in Swaziland polygamy is quite common um, it's a very polygamous society particularly my father's generation probably most of my aunts and uncles are in polygamous marriages um a lot of my friends and family members come from polygamous um, families and things like that but obviously it's not as much as it used to be in terms of like my father's generation my generation now but it's still quite a common occurrence and if someone my age went into a polygamous marriage in Switzerland, i wouldn't be like what it wouldn't be like such a big deal if i went into a polygamous marriage <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Oh, God. 
Good, good. Um, when I was young, probably the first thing I ever wanted to be was I wanted to be a nun. Yes, that's the first thing. That's the first thing I remember ever wanting to be is I wanted to be a nun. I am clearly not a nun now. So <laughs> I don't know when it died out. I don't know how it died out. But yeah, that was the first thing I ever wanted to be. This probably most of you know, some of you don't know, but I used to be a heavy smoker. You probably know that I used to smoke before, but I used to be like a heavy smoker. At some at, at one stage I was smoking like two packs a day um, of like filter cigarettes, not light cigarettes. So um honestly people ask me all the time like how did you quit? It was very hard. It was very hard. It took me years to actually quit. I tried about three or four times I tried to quit smoking. Like I quit once for like a year and a half. I quit for six months here. It took a long time, but actually the last time that I quit, it was actually very easy. I the last time I stopped how I stopped smoking was actually unplanned. I basically um went out the night before. And the following day I couldn't really move and I'd run out of cigarettes and I couldn't go to the shops because you know <laughs> after effects I couldn't go to the shop so I sort of slept the day away and I just never bought cigarettes after that I know that like I make it sound easy quitting smoking is not easy which is why I feel very badly for all the sort of current lockdown people who have been forced to quit smoking it is one of the most horrible 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 things to go through I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy and I personally wish that I had never ever 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 started smoking and I'm glad that like um, I don't think like most people like I suffer like a lot of after effects or consequences from um, quitting smoking like I know some of the worst people to to like serve in a restaurant for example <clears throat> are like ex-smokers because one whiff of smoke and all of a sudden oh my god it's supposed to be a nice smoking section no, 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 no. it's always the night the ex-smokers who are always the most hectic about like smoking sections than people who've never smoked people who've never smoked generally like yeah they don't like it but they won't make a fuss about it but ex-smokers they will come after you why because like they probably still like it still bothers them and they still like when they heat, smell cigarettes it's sort of like brings up those temptations i'm lucky that i don't experience those i think also it's because of how i quit smoking and that like it wasn't planned i just stopped one day and that really has helped and honestly it, i think it was mostly due to where i was in my life i was the lord was very active in my life in that moment yeah let me just leave it at that <laughs> Okay, and then the last thing is that I am a hoarder. Now, when I say, when I say that I'm a hoarder, I don't mean that like, I mean it in a very specific way. Like, there's hoarding where you like collect a lot of stuff and your house is like, you know, like those like clean with me's hoarders, what, what, what uh, shows on TLC. I'm not that kind of hoarder, but I don't like using my new stuff kind of hoarder so i hoard new things basically that's what i do i hoard new things and i'll give you and basically how that is is that like i don't like using my new stuff so you know there are people for example christmas morning you get your christmas clothes right and the people who wear their christmas clothes on the day in the morning or even if they get them at lunchtime after christmas lunch they'll put them on right there right there. I am not that person. I will put my Christmas clothes away. I will look at them. I'll be like, oh, it's so nice. It's so pretty. And then I won't wear them for years. Years. And you are like, no, Gabby, that's not true. Let me give you an example. This t-shirt was a birthday present from a friend of mine that I got in 2018 November. Yeah, she gave it to me in November 2018 when I came back from Chile. Um, we met up with the girls and this was um, one of the presents that I received. This is my first time ever wearing this top. And the only reason I'm wearing this top is because I'm making this video. Not because 
because I just hoard like I am a hoarder right let me give you another example a friend of mine gave me these shoes probably 2018 as well I have never worn them ever 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 let me give you another example you it's not just clothing my mom gave me this bag three years ago never been used never been carried out never never uh i bought myself this top in probably three four years ago probably 2016 2017 i've never worn it ever uh jimmy bought me this oh jimmy bought me this bag still has the tag on it never carried it mm. my sister went to the uk my sister went to the uk about three four years ago i think it was 2017 if not 20 yeah 2017 bought me a bag from harrods a laptop bag and you know what i said to myself I said to myself, when I start working, I'm going to use this nice laptop bag. Ne? I'm a working girl now. Do I carry a nice laptop bag? No, I carry a beat up backpack because that's who I am. Uh, Jimmy got me some Sir John makeup. I mean, some nice makeup. This is like liquid eyeshadow. This is, um, this is the Woody Sir John makeup. This is like a nice shimmer thing. Look at this eyeshadow palette. Look. I think this is a contour palette and brush. Haven't even opened it. Let's see. Oh, look, it's still in the plastic bag and I'm not taking it out for this video. My biggest, like, feel bad for me. Well, I, sh I don't feel bad about it because like I know is when I left for PE I met up with Olav so I moved to PE in 2018 so I met with Olav it was either July or August I can't remember when I moved here but we met like a week or two before I moved here and she gave me a going away present now everybody is like why are you not using this thing i don't even think my family knows i have this thing but my niece is going to die actually because she's like i really want an instamax camera and here i am with an instax uh instamax instax uh camera and i'm not using it it's not that i don't appreciate these gifts now there's many many now there's many 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 other gifts in the house similar things similar stories that i have tons like i hoard new things i blame it on the fact that i grew up poor that's what i'm blaming it on i'm growing it i'm blaming it on a, on growing up poor but I'm, it's also one of those um situations where i know like yeah like i'm not one of those i don't, I don't have disposable income like i don't have um a lot of like spare cash never have been and i don't like buying things on credit so i know that there's usually occasions when i need something special and you know like i need you know something that's going to be like you know so i save these things for those moments where you know if i need to go out and you know i need to make a splash i have something really nice something that you know i don't like i have i'm one of those people like i have home clothes i have going out clothes and then i have special occasion clothes and i don't just like mix and match them and move things around between these things anyway i'm blaming it on growing up poor i'm blaming it on being a student for the last five eight years of my life yeah i basically was a student for eight years of my life i didn't have disposable income so i needed to keep like special things so when i was in for when i wasn't having student moments and i needed to be off campus i needed to have stuff that was off campus appropriate so I keep that stuff, although that's a lie because actually I don't wear any of the stuff. I find ways to make my on-campus stuff off-campus stuff. I don't know what to blame it on. I'm a hoarder. That's my story. Okay. 
Anyway, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know something about you that most people don't know. It will be quite interesting to see what you guys are, um, are like, you know, what it is about you that you sort of like, hmm, does someone know this about me? And yeah, let me know what you found surprising in the videos. I hope you guys are having a wonderful time. And I hope that lockdown is not like dampening your spirit too much. And I will see you on the next video. Bye, Gabster.